that dad guy. It's September the 3rd, 2023. I'm back from vacation. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. We got up there to Montreal, got my daughter settled into her new apartment, got all the things we needed, did a few adventures along the way, visited with friends, made some new friends with the parents of some of the other kids that are around. So I had a great time all in all. Now we're back getting caught up. When I returned home, all this mail was waiting for me. So if you're thinking this video should have came out on Friday, you're right, but I wasn't back by Friday and I didn't want to shoot a video with what I'd received before. I, well, I guess I didn't receive anything before I left, so there wouldn't have been a video. And then that means my Saturday video didn't come out normally on Saturday. Today's normally the video I'm writing things. So everything's pushed back a little bit, but it just means you're still getting content every day. I tried to release a video every day I was away, other than the one travel day that I had coming back yesterday. I didn't put anything out, I had one day break. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of the scenes around the province of Quebec that we did. And uh, the new stamp issues that came out this week, which are great. And some knockoff Lego. Now what I've got, I've got, Today's video will show you what came in the mail. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to try to shoot the video about uh, the recipes that you guys have sent in for That Dad Guy Answer, so it will be off a couple days. Uh, Tuesday I will put out my What Am I Writing Going Out video, because I'll have quite a few things to respond to. I do have to take Tuesday off from work because my uh, truck isn't uh, ready from all its repairs yet, it wasn't collected, so uh, we are gotta take an extra day oh well another day of vacation but it means i can get caught up on some of these things also i bought some postcards while i was away so i'll have a video this week showing what postcards i bought um if you watched uh, snail mail with Smokey, he showed his new um card that he's sending out for world postcard day that he put together through canva we talked about it in, in the past and uh, i did the same thing so i will show you what card that i'll be sending out this year and uh, talk a bit about canva so i've got that video to come out too um, yeah, so there's stuff coming out. If you like the channel, uh, subscribe, like, leave me a positive comment, and uh, just enjoy. Let's get to this because it's going to be a longer one. Let's start with the official post crossing ones. This first one here comes from Maryland. It looks like it comes from Eva. Uh, she is married with three grown children, uh, no grandchildren yet. Uh, she's retired. She and her husband live in the uh, central part of the state. And uh, she's been post-crossing for over six years. Collects all things postal. So kind of like me, except she's been post-crossing a whole lot longer. I am going on two and a half years now. I'll show you the back. Here are the stamps. So thank you, Eva, for that. And the flag of Maryland. Uh, this reminds me of my son when he uh, plays basketball with uh, Marco Sports Clinic here. Because uh, the Marcus Nix, who is a great coach and mentor for the young people around here, is originally from Maryland. So he uses the Maryland flag in his uh, clothing. All right, next card also comes from the US. It comes from Kim, this, and she says that her son loves to play Lego and there's a new store coming to her area in November. So that is exciting for them. Hopefully she plays Lego with her son and uh, enjoys the creativity of it, abound with it. All right, another card from the U.S. Lots of official ones from the U.S. This, time. this is the Buffalo Soldier Memorial in Kansas City. Uh, no, in Junction City, Kansas, excuse me. Uh, on the back it says, Dedicated in October 2000, this Buffalo Soldier Memorial in Junction City, Kansas, honors the black soldiers who uh, comprised of the 9th and 10th Cavalry Regiment in the U.S. Army, serving from 1866 to 1944. They saw action in many parts of the world. Nearby in Fort Riley, they played a key role as a staging area for the campaign against American tribes. The name Buffalo Soldier was bestowed by the Cheyenne warriors out of respect for their bravery and valor. So this card comes from Janice, and she says this memorial is in her town. And there are the stamps. Nice floral stamps. So thank you, Janice, for a little bit of history. Uh, always love learning new things and uh, sharing new things with other people too. All right, this next official card comes from Finland and uh, comes from Dolores. She says she loves nature and plants and wildlife and animals. She says she hasn't seen a hedgehog in her area in a very long time. The only time we see hedgehogs is uh, right there. Polo is sleeping in the other room right now. We moved him downstairs while we were away. Uh, so we will have to put him back in his bedroom. 
but he's uh, back behind those doors at the moment. Uh, we don't have any wild hedgehogs here, so we have a pet hedgehog instead. And there's the finished stamp. So thank you, Dolores. Next card comes from Germany. And uh, it says, the uh, name's Heinz, it sends this, and the historic city of Rath, uh, Rath, Ravensburg, excuse me, uh, which you may know from the puzzles and games. That's where these come from. And there are some of the historic towers and churches, and there's gates around. It looks like just a beautiful city in Germany. So uh, 50,000 people live there. Thank you, Heinz. And there's the post crossing stamp. And I have another card that comes from Germany, also has the post crossing stamp on it. And this one um, comes from Dortz. Uh, so maybe like German Dorothy almost, D O R T E. And he says, garden gnomes are typical for Germany. From the middle of the 19th century, classical garden gnomes are often, I gotta make sure I got it right here often modeled on gardeners or medieval miners. Uh, there are more than 25 million of them in German gardens. Okay, we've got garden gnomes here, but I don't imagine there are 25 million of them spread around. So that's very impressive. And uh, I've seen some really creative ones too. You go to the store and you can see uh, different gnomes in different positions. Um, yeah, they're cute. There was a movie, I can't remember what it is, and you guys maybe will come up with where there was a garden gnome that kind of traveled around. There's also the Travelocity, the commercial uh, gnome that travels around too in their commercials. So I've seen them used in other ways and funny ways too. So thank you, Dorch, for that. Uh, the last official one I have comes from Taiwan. It came in an envelope. This is a first day issue envelope too. You can see that the postmark cancellation matches the stamp. And then it says, uh, greetings, New Year greetings on the back. And inside, there are a few things in here. So we have this anime card, which I guess goes in this direction. You can see there isn't a name on this, so I have no one to be able to thank. But uh, they've decorated it nicely, and there's even a stamp on there, even though I didn't need to have a stamp on it because they mailed it an envelope. Uh, we have this nice moustache. I love Papa. A little writing pad page. There's this bookmark. And then they included a few stamps. Now I'll save the stamps to show you at a later date um, just because there is a lot of stuff going on in this video. And it'll be kind of nice to spend some time looking at those stamps as well. So thank you so much from Taiwan for the nice parcel. Now let's get into a few of the friend direct swap mail that I have here. The first one comes from my great friend Nicole in Ohio. She sent me this card that uh, depicts her town. So 27,000 people live there, uh, big enough that uh, they have all the amenities that they need, uh, small enough that you kind of run into people that you know on a regular basis, which is kind of nice. She's decorated with some beautiful stamps, including a nice Yoda stamp there. And she's also included some of this black washi tape that she got from uh, the cousin of our friend Maria, who has unfortunately passed away in Greece. Uh, she had a collection of things, and so uh, she was in touch, and some of her post-crossing stuff got dispersed throughout the world. Uh, so it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a, um, a memory there of Maria, too. So I really appreciate that from Nicole. Um, so thank you very much for that. Uh, this next card comes from Lila, and Lila in the U.S. had gone to a post-crossing meetup, it looks like here. In Cleveland, Ohio, you can see all the people that attended, and the really cool rock and roll cancellation, because the uh, um, Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, is in Cleveland, so I suspect that's why you've got a beautiful ticket cancellation. really like that. Lila didn't sign it, uh, but I know from the uh, green address stamp there that it's from Lila so thank you so much this next card comes from Amber in Missouri so there we are and uh, she said she was going to stamp fest this month and she got a nice wagon for her child to go into and there are the stamps so that one came from Amber thank you this next card comes from Lithuania Skyestia and there is the card 
and uh, she is preparing for her wedding, which is uh, it's very exciting in less than a month, uh, just a couple weeks now, really. Uh, she's been getting married, so congratulations to her. There are the stamps. I like the theme. You can see the, the letters all around the post box, uh, starting to look a little festive for Christmas, maybe, even though it's a little early for Christmas, but still a beautiful card, so thank you very much. Uh, this next card comes from Sarah, and Sarah is getting ready to move. So she uh, is in uh, North Carolina, and she wanted to send this Hawaiian postcard, uh, thinking about all the people there. Then uh, they had a massive wire, wildfire that destroyed so much. So uh, it's been a summer of wildfires around North America, at least. Uh, Canada has had our fair share and still has some. Um, yeah, Northwestern United States has had a lot of fires going on and uh, in Hawaii too. So we're thinking of the people there and hope for a speedy recovery. There are the stamps that were used. So thank you so much for that. I will get you a card back and I appreciate you uh, sending a card about Hawaii. Uh, this next card is a maxi card. It comes from our friend Jilly B living her life her way here on YouTube. Uh, she has sent this a great maxi card and also included a stamp on the other side. So we have lots of firsts to make up the postage. I appreciate that, Jilly. Uh, part of the unicorn gang. Uh, there is the unicorn there. So they've had a bit of a, a rainy season in uh, England this summer too, or at least where she is. Um, it's kind of what you expect for England, but it's never fun in the summertime, especially uh, here in Canada when we've got cold, snowy winters. Uh, summer is when we want to thrive in the heat. And here we've had lots of Lots of rain, but luckily on my vacation, only one day of rain. Fantastic. This week coming up looks like all sun too. So looking forward to a nice long uh, summer at the end. <laughs> all right, next card comes from Judy in Florida. There we have uh, FDR. And on the back it says other US presidents, notably Gerald R. Ford collected stamps, but uh, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the nation's most famous stamp collector during his years in office, he is shown here working with his stamp collection in the library of his home at Hyde Park in New York in 1936. There's a nice stamp there. And then Judy has gone on to cover the back with stamps. My favorites are these two here, I believe. These are the special delivery ones. Yeah, there's lots of great ones. I love the older stamps, but uh, these ones are a bit unusual. I don't think I've got these special delivery ones or dad doesn't have them, so I'll have to check but uh, they now belong to this card. So thank you. Uh, the next card comes from Linda in Georgia. Linda Stamp Gal, you may know her as. She sent this nice waterfall postcard uh, because of the issue of the waterfall stamps that have come out in the United States. So she was kind of matching those up. Um, so thank you, Linda, for that. I appreciate that. I appreciate any time I'm getting mail from you. Uh, she is another fantastic uh, philatelist. So um, we trade stamps back and forth. And uh, she's got a great U.S. collection. All right. Next card comes from Robert in New Mexico. And we've got a Star Wars card. This is uh, because uh, Ahsoka was premiering on... Uh, Disney Plus, I have yet to watch it because we've been moving to Montreal, so it aired, started to air right as we were leaving, so I've got some episodes to catch up on, but I know it's going to be good because it's got a bunch of uh, connections to some of the other TV shows that I like to watch in the Star Wars franchise. So thank you, Robert. Robert wasn't done, though. He sent this one here of the Balloon Fest um, in New Mexico, in uh, Albuquerque. They have the largest uh, balloon festival in the world. We have a big balloon festival in Sussex. I've done videos on that in the past, but this one looks like it dwarfs ours, so it would be something to see. And there we have the stamps that have been uh, nicely pen canceled, unfortunately. Thank you, Robert. Next card comes from Erin in Colorado. Uh, this is a really cool image. And she says uh, she was puppy sitting for a friend's two puppies. So that sounds exciting. And they did really well. I really like this card. <laughs> it makes me laugh. There are the stamps. So thank you so much, Aaron, for that. Anyone else think that this is a good card? 
funny, funny, funny. Okay, this next card comes from, uh, gonna try, Pro, Pro Don Rome. I'm, I'm using it, rolling my R's like I'm reading in French. It shouldn't be for French, but uh, Pro Dromos, who is in uh, Cyprus, in Greece, uh, has been watching my channel. So he sent me this one here of some beautiful uh, Grecian spots that are around. And uh, he's given me a, a lot of uh, detail on the back. He does uh, uh, teaching of uh, Greece for, for tourists. He's also worked at a receptionist in, um, well, not for tourists, for foreigners. So you could go to and learn Greece, Greek there. Um, he's a receptionist in a hotel. He uh, collects old newspapers. He loves uh, reading and crime stories. Just trying to give you the update. He's so good. He's got so much detail on the back, which is fantastic. Very small writing. Um, I appreciate that he's found my channel and he's watching it. Uh, he talks about the three stats that he sent um, here, talking about uh, a nation divided, but uh, still doing well. There is uh, the next butterfly stamp. This one I thought was really unusual. He is saying that uh, this gentleman, uh, is a doctor, a politician, an artist, probably one of the most important figures in their 20th century history. And what I thought was so interesting about it is he is a gentleman who is still alive, at least at the time of this stamp. You can see his birth year, but no end date to it. So it's unusual to have a stamp put out by someone that is still living. Um, yeah, sometimes you do. I mean, we've put out stamps with musical artists and things like that, that uh, I guess are still alive. Uh, but yeah, to me, I find it a little unusual uh, to see that, but very cool. Nice to learn new things. I've never heard of him before, so it was good to learn that. So thank you so much for watching the channel. Thank you for sending a postcard, giving me your address so I can respond to you as well. All right, the next thing that was a shocking surprise, my friend Kyler from Prince Edward Island decided to spam me with postcards this week which is fantastic he said I thought I would bolster your collection of royalty postcards so here are some for your collection and he did it in a really cool way um, I'm gonna show you uh, I'm sure Renee Lewis would love some of these cards too um, first is the Queen of Diamonds dear Queen Elizabeth II and there is the stamp Take note. The next is Princess Diana at a younger age with the, the two kids at the time. And there is the stamp, King Charles. And then this one here of William and Kate. And younger, getting younger. And the matching William and Kate stamp on the back. You see the trend so far. He has had royal postcards, different royal stamps on it. Um, here we are, Queen Elizabeth II as well in her final year. And the memorial stamp of uh, the 78 years on, 70 years on the throne. Stamp that goes with it. King Charles going through the garden. <laughs> he says, uh, watching out for bees, it's possible. There's the King Charles stamp that goes with it. And then we have a royal wedding one of Harry and Meghan. Don't have anything from their royal wedding. And, oh, and the stamp. You can see all the cards so far. All have different stamps except for this duplicate of the King Charles but all the other ones are there and then uh, here we have another one of Harry and Meghan um, things may be a little bit different in their relationship now that you see in this one here there's the stamp and then finally uh, that was the royal bombardment he did send one other card though he says uh, uh this part uh might be a little saucy for your YouTube channel. Nope, I'm showing it anyways because I thought it was funny. 
this one here, you can see the farmer. It says, Flossie, the farmer's inflatable friend with the sheep. He's getting ready. He's got a mischievous smile. Uh, you can see the pictures that are on the wall and uh, the very concerned look by the dog. Uh, love it, Kyler. Great sense of humor. Thank you so much. There you go. So thank you, Kyler, for all the great postcards. All right, so this next one comes from Om in France. Nice postman one. And uh, on the back, look at the stamps. Fantastic, beautiful big one there. Great, great, great. So thank you for that. She was not done. She sent an envelope. There are the stamps on that one. And inside, we have a Keep Calm and Mail On postcard. Nice on the back, what it says. And then I sent some stamps to her, which she gave to her father. And he, in response, sent me these beautiful first day covers from New Caledonia. I did a video on the New Caledonia stamps that uh, she had sent to me before. So great to be able to have a couple first day covers to go with it from 1978 and 79. This one I really like the image of. Turtle seems to be made up of stamps. And then the final one was this one here. Nice image as well. So thank you, Om, for that. Thank you to your father, too, for uh, some stamps for my collection. Right, put that aside. Uh, the next one's come from Meria in Finland. So she was on vacation in Rhodes in Greece. Uh, they had some bad uh, weather as well, but when she was there, it was nice. We sent that. There are the stamps. Don't get many from Greece anymore. Uh, Maria was my contact there and I enjoyed the lovely cards that she sent. So it was nice to see some stamps. There's another stamp to go with this postcard. And uh, she had fantastic weather while she was there, as you expect normally in Greece, and uh, enjoyed beautiful food and just had a great time all in all. Then she sent this envelope. So this one came from Finland with the stamps. And uh, in it, she posted this other Greece one. I really like this one here, uh, birthplace of the Olympics. So great image, she sent that one. Uh, she sent this one, Canada Championship Hockey. That was kind of nice to get a, a hockey one from Finland that she had had. She had asked if we thought we might be putting out a world figure skating um, stamp next year as the worlds are in Montreal. I don't know if we are or not. And then finally, she sent uh, some things for my uh, daughter, really. Uh, my daughter really loves F1, Formula One racing, which today there is a race in Monza which I have to flick on in the background. I have a message actually popped up on my screen. This is a uh, Lewis Hamilton's car, this Mercedes. And uh, yeah, there's a message popped up right now saying, are you watching the race? I will be as soon as I'm done the video. I'll edit it while I'm watching it. And then this one here that has all the helmets uh, in order of the 2020, uh, dri uh, 2020 drivers. So how they finished the 2020 season, they're all in order apparently. So if you know everybody and how they finished, I'm guessing this must be Lewis Hamilton in the number one position here. 2020, he won the championship before Max Verstappen took over and uh, held the stranglehold ever since. So that is my amazing collection of cards that have come in this week. Thank you to everyone who uh, continues to send in um, to swaps with me. And uh, I'll have some more to write this week for sure. I've got lots to respond to. I've got... Uh, Lots of ones that have reached their destination official, so I've got those to pick out. We do have some friends that are coming to visit tonight that are staying with us. So um, I'm going to fit it in where I fit it in, and I'll get the videos out to you as quick as I can. So enjoy this one. I know I enjoyed uh, going through, reading it, seeing it all, and especially when I got home to have so much mail waiting for me. It was fantastic. So thank you to everyone, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Have a magical one. Like Polo? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?